Hey everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I'm so excited because I'm doing something a little different here. So I've teamed up with my girl over at Hair Romance, Christina, and you guys have to check out her YouTube channel. She does so many different tutorials for curly hair people. So anyways, what we decided that would be really fun is that we show you different variations of how to rock a fishtail braid. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna be doing a fishtail braiding technique, but turn it into a really nice uh, updo, and she's gonna show you something different too. So you guys definitely have to check out her channel. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, to start this look off, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and create the fishtail braid on my left side, going over to my right, and I'm actually going to split my hair in half and do a fishtail braid on this side as well. So I'm just going to divide the hair. And work this side first. So I have lots of texture to my hair because I want my fishtail braid kind of fuller. My hair is awfully fine. So having a little texture really helps give it a nice um, full texture to it. So I'm just gonna disregard my bang area and start a little bit above the ear and then just sec section out a piece of hair. And what I'm gonna do is split it in half. Now I'm gonna utilize our fishtail braid technique. So basically with fishtails, you split it in half and then you take a piece of hair from the side and go up and over to your left side. And then now you take the hair to the left and you take a little bit of hair from the left, go up and over to your right side. And you keep on doing that same technique all the way down. But what we're gonna do is actually incorporate hair as we travel the fishtail down. So I'm gonna incorporate a little hair around my face into my right section. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of hair from that right hair and go up and over to the left side. So you're basically doing kind of a fishtail French braid. So now on the left side, I'm incorporating a little bit of hair to my left section taking a little bit of hair, going up and over to my right set section. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue this technique all the way down. Okay, now that I've gotten close to the ends, I'm just gonna go ahead and secure it with an elastic. And now I'm gonna move over to my right side, but only I'm not going to be doing um, a fishtail French back. I'm just gonna be doing the fishtail starting about the ears down and just do a regular fishtail braid. So again, take the hair, divide it in half. I'm gonna start on the right side, taking a piece of hair up and over to my right, over to my left. Taking a piece of hair on the left side, up and over to my right section and continue this technique all the way down. And I really like fishtail braids because it's okay if um, your sections aren't perfect. All right, so if you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I really like disheveled hair. I just feel like it gives it a little bit more of an editorial feel. So what I'm gonna do is actually take our fishtail braid now and working on one side and then over to the other is just pull it out so it just kind of plumps it up and gives it a nice kind of messy texture to it. All right, so now we have these pulled out fishtail braids. All we're gonna do is just drape it across the back and secure it with bobby pins. Now we're gonna take the ends and just simply tuck it under the braid and secure it with a bobby pin. All right, so there you ladies have it, a really nice alternative to a fishtail braid. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please feel free to check out Hair Romance. Christina is awesome. The link is gonna be below and I cannot wait to see her style that she replicated with using a fishtail technique. So for more hair love every single week, please feel free to check out my Instagram at the Confessions of a Hairstyles and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.